The Manchester Contemporary is the only fair of its kind outside London, so it specialises in critically engaged contemporary art. It was set up to help younger galleries and artist-led spaces give them an opportunity to meet collectors, curators in a professional context. So when you walk around physically you'll notice that some of the booths are more curated. Often, if we ask the gallerist, they'll give us a really interesting explanation about why they've chosen to hang certain works in certain ways. The goal of every gallery and the goal of every artist is to be placed in an institution. So finding institutions for emerging artists and as us, emerging galleries, is such an honour. For us in our first year to get a piece in a public exhibition space and in an amazing collection like Manchester City Gallery it's a really big deal for us in terms of profile, visibility and just supporting those kind of artists is an amazing thing for us. You see a piece like that, a 30 foot tall Boris Johnson made of discarded clothing and it makes you stop and it makes you talk and you talk to the person that you're with or you think about it. It's kind of what art is all about. And I'm proud that because we're based here in Manchester, we do have a northern bias towards our exhibiting galleries and exhibiting artists. So we estimate that probably over one and a half million pounds have gone directly to local and regional artists and galleries. And I don't really think there's anyone else who's had that sort of commercial impact. And that's something we're immensely proud of as Mancunians.